I don't know about you, but I am tired of hearing about AI. Generative fill, chat GPT, every short form video talking about how AI can edit your video for you and make you a million dollars. It is exhausting. But something happened a few months ago that sort of changed my mind about AI. And that is what we're talking about in today's video, a tool that is actually helping photographers. It makes you more productive, can give your business more opportunities to make money, and it's not a gimmick. It does what it's supposed to do, and that's why I'm making this video today. So the program I'm gonna show you how to use is called Imagine AI. Now, the first time I got introduced to this program was by my friend Taylor Jackson a few months ago, and other YouTubers have made videos on this program Program, but all of these videos have a wedding photography focus. And today I wanna to show you some other ways you can use this program. I'm gonna use it on an automotive shoot that I did, but you can apply it to any client work you're doing where you have a large batch of photos. Now, the way Imagine works is it allows you to speed up your editing process by using AI to edit your photos based on a profile, essentially a preset that you create or you select from the ones that are already built into the program. And what Imagine does is they take your Lightroom catalog, apply this profile to all the photos, and then your Lightroom catalog has all the adjustments so you can go in and fine tune everything and speed up that workflow and get back out to doing the thing that we all love to do, which is creating with our camera and actually interfacing with the world and not sitting behind a computer. So if you do any type of photography that requires large batches of edits, that's wedding photography, automotive photography, event photography, or social media content creation, like when I worked at Epitome ATL and had to make all these sneaker photos all look cohesive and have the same editing style, this video is for you. And I partnered with Imagine AI, they're sponsoring today's video, and you can go to the link in the description on today's video, try it out completely for free and edit 1500 photos using this amazing software that's extremely powerful and fits right into any photography workflow. So let me break down how I would use this. Today's example is going to be an automotive shoot that I did a while back. Now this shoot is a tricky one because there are some things that the AI cannot do, which we'll talk about later in the video, but I'm going to show you how I sped up this workflow and took essentially a day of work out of this project. When I originally edited these images without the use of AI, it took me about two and a half days to complete this project, but if I had Imagine AI at my disposal, I guarantee this project would have been done in a day and a half. One day to shoot, a half day to edit. So let's get into it. So step one is to create a separate Lightroom catalog for the project you're going to be editing. So in today's example, we're gonna upload all these automotive photos into a separate catalog, save that catalog and close Lightroom. Now we're gonna open Imagine AI. And in Imagine AI, we're gonna go down to profiles. This is where you can create your own profile or browse the editing profiles of others. I'm gonna show you in a minute how you can create your own profile and take advantage of this. For now, I just want to show you how the batch editing feature works. So what we can do is we can browse through these profiles and see various examples of how each profile affects the images. Some edits are more heavy, some have a more subtle edit, and some are black and white. I like this one, so we're going to select it and we're going to add our Lightroom into Imagine AI. So for this set of edits, I'm gonna select the entire catalog and leave all the extras blank. We're gonna talk about that in a minute as well. But once the catalog is in and I've selected the catalog, I'm going to click on Upload. Now Imagine AI is going to give you a processing time estimate, which you can see in the top right corner, so you can leave your computer, do whatever it is you gotta do in your own life, and check your email for an update to when all your photos are ready. And one really cool thing that Imagine does in these emails is they show you the amount of time you've saved by using their program. So for this batch of edits, we saved over two hours, which is pretty rad. So once the photos are done, we can click on review and we can open our Lightroom catalog. And now you can see all the images have been edited using the parameters of the style that we selected. Normally this would take hours because you'd have to edit one photo, apply the edits to all the images in your batch, and then go through and fine tune them to make sure they all match. But as you can see in this case, catalog, each image is edited a little bit differently. Some have exposure adjustments, some have shadow adjustments, some have greater highlight adjustments. Basically, Imagine AI is trying to create a cohesive set of images that all match. And it does this by adjusting all your settings separately, which is an amazing feature that speeds everything up. Now, once we go through these photos, let's make our selections. Now, I've narrowed it down to 15 photos that I think I'm going to send to my client. Now, we're going to use these 15 photos as an example 
example of how you can apply your own editing style to a set of images. So what we're going to do is we're going to close out our catalog once we've flagged each one of these photos. Now using Imagine AI, we have two options to basically emulate our editing style on this batch of images. One is to upload 3,000 photos that use the style that you prefer and let Imagine AI create a profile for you. But if you don't have 3,000 photos, that's completely fine. Imagine AI allows you to upload an individual preset and then set the parameters on that preset by answering a couple questions. So they give you some examples of exposure and you can say, I like the way this image looks and that sets a parameter. You can do the same thing with white balance settings to give the AI an understanding of how you want your edit to look based off this preset. Now, once the preset is selected, we can edit our catalog using that preset. So we're gonna drag that catalog back in. And from here, what we're gonna do is select that catalog and select flagged. By selecting flagged, we are going to see that we go from 200 photos to 15 photos in this editing batch. This is because Imagine AI is looking at our catalog and realizes we only wanna edit the flagged photos. Now from here, we're gonna click upload. And once these photos process, we can click review and open our Lightroom catalog once again. Now, as you can see in Lightroom, our flagged photos now have a different editing style, but all of our flagged photos match in terms of the style on these edits using the preset we uploaded as a base. And once again, now Imagine AI has made custom adjustments to each photo to make sure they match and are cohesive. So we have our unique style applied to these images and they all match. And this right here is the main thing I love about Imagine AI and why I'm making this video today. The fact that you no longer have to spend time going through each individual image, tweaking your edit to make sure they all match is huge. This saves so much time in post-processing. Now, Imagine AI also allows you to do other things when it comes to editing. One thing that I thought was interesting was being able to select transform or select crop before you uploaded your images. You can also do things like select the subject on your photos and then choose the adjustment you wanna to make to that subject. So for every image in your batch, you can say, I want the subject of my image to have a slight exposure adjustment. And then Imagine AI, once you upload the photos, we'll make that adjustment and you can tweak them in Lightroom. But for today's example, I just wanna show you how the cropping works. So we've once again uploaded our catalog, we've selected our flagged photos, and we've made sure to select crop. Now, once we generate the photos and open our catalog once again, you can see that all of our images have been cropped using Imagine AI. But this is where AI is not magic. You see on this photo shoot, there was an issue with the location we were shooting at. Essentially, the location was supposed to be complete. It wasn't, so we had to work around it. Now, some of these crops look absolutely perfect, nice balanced images, but some of these I am going to have to go in and manually adjust myself to crop them to the point that I envisioned when I was out making these photos. And that is the limitation to AI, and that's one of the things that is so cool about this tool. It's not perfect. It's not going to do all the work for you. It's a tool to speed up your workflow. Another example of something I'm gonna have to do manually is go in and retouch all these photos. Because this is an automotive photo shoot, you have to make sure the car looks pristine and perfect. And that's something that I'm going to have to do myself. So yes, there might be another extra hour of work on these images, but the goal has been achieved. Imagine AI has sped up my workflow so much to the point where two, three hours of editing has now been shrunk down to about 10 minutes. And I think that's absolutely incredible. And I love the fact that all these adjustments and edits based on these profiles is made to the Lightroom catalog. So you can go in and tweak and change everything if you need to. But in my experience, there weren't many photos that I felt like I had to go back and re-edit. I would feel comfortable sending all of these to the client after I did that cropping and those retouches. But that right there is an overview of how I would use Imagine AI to speed up my photography workflow and how you can speed up your workflow. And like I said at the beginning of the video, get out and shoot more. Do more of the thing you actually love and take advantage of AI in a way it's practical and makes sense. And I wish I had this tool when I worked at Epitome ATL. I usually spent a lot of my time editing those photos. And if I had something like this, I would have been able to put more time into creating my images and cut my editing time in half. So if you're interested in Imagine AI, you can check the link in the description on today's video and you can edit 1500 photos completely for free. Try out all the amazing tools that Imagine AI provides to you as a photographer. And thank you to Imagine AI for sponsoring today's video. But that's 
that's it for me today, y'all. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up button. And if you have questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. I'll look out for any questions on this video and help you in any way that I can. I'll see y'all in the next one.